Uh, Dawn's here. Dawn says, I'm half Italian too. Gluten-free is difficult. It is. It is. You know, um, we, um, we did a trip a couple of days ago to take our baby boy to the pediatrician. So we went to another town, did an overnight there um, and beach town. And they've got a famous bakery there. Uh, and our friends told us they've got good gluten-free things. So as we're driving out of town, I go in there and it's Sunday morning. Oh, it was two days ago, Sunday morning, very busy. People are having breakfast and all that. And uh, by the time we got there though, most of the gluten-free products were gone. There were a couple things they had. I bought them for our drive back home and they were tasty. But as I got in the car, I said, you know, I miss almond croissants. I just really miss them. You know, it's the price you pay to be healthier. And so, yes, um, Dawn, it, it is difficult at times, but as you move forward in learning more food selections and you get healthier and younger and stronger, it's a small price to pay. And then if you slip and you go back and the next day you feel terrible and not just guilty terrible, but physically terrible. And then, you know, it's, um, I, I used to tell the story eight years. It took me eight years to, Michelle knows, <laughs> took me eight years to give up Christmas cookies because we'd go home to my parents uh, for Christmas every year from Chicago with the kids. And my mother would make this variety of cookies that I grew up on and little pieces of cheesecake with the canned cherry topping from the red dye and all the garbage stuff that I grew up on. But I'd look at that and I'd take a bite of one. Well, I'll just have a bite of one. And within a couple of days, I'd eaten four or five a day, right? It took me eight years before I stopped eating Christmas cookies. So Dawn, you're not alone in, in recognizing the challenge in shifting your eating style. But there's multiple challenges. There's the challenge of dealing with the symptoms and there's the challenge of giving up the food. Like we all just have to see what our highest value is. Like yes. if your highest value is health, then that challenge really becomes minimal. And once you, like you said, Dr. Tom, once you start to feel vibrant and healthy, it's so worth it, but you wouldn't even go back. If there was a pill or some magic wand to fix it, it's like, it's not even worth it anymore. Agreed, agreed.